Sage 4006. Um, I'm doing a video on home defense ammunition for <clears throat> shotguns, obviously, 12 gauge. And I got a little sort of ammunition I have here on display. Um, I have my Mossberg 500A, seven shot shotgun, seven shots plus one. The magazine, primary arms, optic on there, it's not really necessary, but hey, it looks cool, right? And a little heat shield, a little cheapy on there. I've done a review on the shotgun with a Knox recoil reducing stock. Not as popular anymore, but hey, it still works and she's a gym. So I a safety check, so we're good like that. All right, let's go through the assortment of ammunition that I have here. A nice variation from double out buck. I have more double out buck than anything else, but double out buck um, from this heavy duty Sashi frangible ammunition, we'll talk about that in a sec. To uh, military issue, double up buck, nine pellet, seller and below, seller and below, how to pronounce that. These are 12 piece, uh, 12 shot, uh, double, uh, double up buck. Going to this Royal ammunition, which is really cool. It's good stuff for the price. Uh, I believe this stuff's made in Spain. And these are nine shot. Nine pellets and double up buck. Sorry, not nine shot. Double up buck, uh, nine pellets. And of course, Winchester Supreme, the Elite. I bought these two different times. So you can see the two different boxes that they made. I believe the top one was the first one that they made. And these are a combination of a slug with three pellets. It's pretty neat stuff. All right. Well, let's start off with this stuff here. This is a um, in uh, frangible pellet ammunition, and got here. It's five shots, five shot shells, twelve gauge, two and three quarters, thirty pellets, uh, double number four buck shot. But these are frangible. They're supposed to break up, which people talk about ammunition being um, shotgun ammunition being you know the best, but people then get into the discussion of are you going to use shot, um, you know, uh, a bird shot, are you going to use double out buck, uh, number four pellet, zero double out, you're going to go into slugs and so on and so on with the different ammunitions that are coming out. This is kind of the best of both worlds because it does have pellet ammunition. Um, it's not large and it is frangible so it'll break up if assuming you miss something hopefully it's going to break up on the uh the sheetrock or uh uh a stud um i haven't actually shot this stuff yet i've been meaning to I'm sorry people but i will get out and get that done for sure but uh just give you give you an idea uh, this is really cool stuff. That's something that uh, I haven't put in a shotgun yet because I do want to go test it out before I go and use this stuff and get, um, you know, it's like anything you need to carry an ammunition. You want to go take it to the range and put it to its pace to make sure you're not going to have any issues. I don't anticipate any, but there's a distinct possibility. So that's something I got to check out. This is cool stuff though. Let's look at it here. Pretty plain jacket. Um, brown. If I can get to the focus here, brown, you know, description of what it is, something fancy on the head stamp, heavy shot, 12 gauge, two and three quarters. Nothing real fancy there as far as the, <clears throat> the externals. Some of those other ammunitions tend to get a little more military look to them. Next here we have a military issue from Winchester, old incorporation. Uh, these are double out buck. These are nine pellets. And, uh, you know, pretty much it tells you everything right there. Hey, nine pellets double out buck, right? These have a cool little black kind of style paint to them, or they put on top, similar to um, this ammunition. It's this a PDX1, which is pretty cool. They put that on there. And. Um, these are a good deal. You find these at Walmart. I uh, did a little video on one of these once when I did purchase them. Uh, it's good stuff and it's good for the military, right? So you're looking at nine shots, nine pe or not, double up nine pellets. Pretty good stuff. Let's move on to uh, Solar and Below. 
So DS is a, this is a really neat ammunition. I picked this up at the gun show last time. And what's really cool about them is yeah, they're doing 12 pellets instead of nine. And they have this buffer and filler that they're using. Um, a little more fancier, I believe. Well, it could be just be the wadding, you know what? Not filler. It just could be the wadding that's in there. But uh, you can tell by looking at it, compare it to, for instance, these two together. You can kind of tell in the craftsman, I mean, right, these units are made to blow up. But the detail and the way these are put together, uh, you're getting high brass on the Rio, which tends to mean you're going to get a big charge. This is low brass, but I'm sure this is going to kick just as well. Um, on the Royal, this is this is a low recoil, but yeah, whatever. But you can see where attention details gone some more into this particular ammunition for setup, and it's a little more pricier too when you buy it. I managed to get a deal, so I scooped this up when I did. But this is really, really good stuff. Again, double out buck, twelve pellets, so pretty cool. And this stuff, I've been able to get pretty good deals at the gun shows when I've seen them. This is uh, Royal from Rio. This is a buck special. It's double out buck, nine pellets, uh, high brass. Pretty good stuff. I fired it, no problems. Um, it doesn't have any filler in there, so the groups tend to spread out a little quickly on these compared to the higher end Winchester uh, game loads that you get that are, uh, I think they have filler to keep the groups tighter. You know, when you're hunting deer, I imagine. But, you know, I bought as much as I could when I found this. I need to probably get some more and stock up on here. And, uh, but I'm pretty impressed with this ammunition. This is also good. And, last but not least, Winchester Supreme Elite PDX-1. And what you got here is three pellets um, of double up buck, I believe. And one foster slug behind there. The pellets are coated. Let's see here. Yeah, the pellets are coated. There is uh, some filler in there to keep this up, uh, keep these groups tight. One ounce rifled slug. It's a rifled slug. Okay. And um, the reviews have been pretty good on this stuff. Um, I like it. I bought two boxes of it. I've shot it. No problems. It feeds just right. But you know, it's not too expensive either. But um, I just have a problem shooting slugs in my house. Um, it's not like I ever planned to shoot anything in the house, but if you ever had to, shooting a slug is not something I recommend. Slugs are, you know, it's going to make a mess. If, you, if you're that close to somebody, you can, you can get away with it and, you know, shoot them. And, you know, hit your target and not hopefully hit any collateral or uh, secondary targets. You know, just hitting your primary target, that's fine. But if you do miss, this bad boy is going to make a mess of the wall, the sheetrock, everything, go through the brick, possibly. It's going to make a mess, um, and you're responsible for everybody's bad boys that leaves your house. So, as much as I like this ammunition, I'm a little skeptical about using it inside my home because I don't have, it's not a mansion or anything, it's just a two-story house, and my neighbors aren't too far apart from me. So even though I like this ammunition, I think it's fun, I bought it, um, I don't really ever see myself using this kind of ammunition. On double up buck, I have it in my current setup, my configuration, in my shotgun. I do have it in there. Um, it's the very last thing I have. It's going to come out of the shotgun. There's a couple other of, uh, of uh, ammunitions I've selected, you know, and I'll show you that right now. Again, these are double up buck, double up buck, and the frangible. I do need to test, but let me show you what I got currently right now. This is the current load I use in the shotgun. And let me show you what I got here. This is, what I, this is what's in coming out the pipe first. Is these Winchester Super X? These are high brass, two and three quarter, twelve gauge. These, I believe, are number four shot, um, bird shot, and um, these will make a mess. They're loud. Um, they got a nice kick to them. This is plenty enough to. I mean, if you hit somebody with this, there's a good chance they're not getting up for at all. And then you get up, they're gonna be seriously hurt. Uh, so that's what I have, you know, started off. I mean, in case, you know, I gotta shoot them, you know, num round number two comes out. There you go again. Same kind of ammunition. Okay. Um, again, I'm not trying to destroy my house completely. You know, that's what has to be done. That's what has to be done. 
but I also don't want to you know, have any collateral damage if there's any shots that you know dead or uh, don't hit the target. So I have three of these. Next, what we're going to trim. Next, what next? What's in the pipe? Is this can? This is number two shot, bird shot from the right. But this is steel. Uh, this is steel. Is actually these are turkey rounds. These are three inch rounds that I have here. Uh, turkey shot, steel shot. Uh, these also got a nice stump to them when you're when you're shooting them. And uh, again, uh, I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. Of the, these bad boys here. These are gonna make a mess of you. And last but not least, what I currently have, what I've tried, tried and tested, um, what I've shot, is this Royal Buck Double Up Buck at the very end. You know, that's what I got left. If I'm at that situation, I still gotta shoot this. You know, I'm still firing. I have two of these coming out the very back end. And again, I have tested these, so I don't have any shooting them. Again, I don't wanna be shooting Double Up Buck in my house, but if you have to, at the very end, that's what I got. And then, you know, I got this little bag right here near me. We got a little bit of everything that's in that bag or what I shot there. Um, a couple more rounds, some double out bug. And I have one, sh one shell. This is a, a slug, a standard slug. Um, one of my buddies, believe it or not, found this in his sofa. Odd part about it is he doesn't own a shotgun. So don't know how you've, that ended up in his sofa. But he knows I'm in the gun, so say, hey, you want Yeah, so cleaned up the brass, and I have a little bag here. I haven't shot yet, but you know, it's in there. Got all the other gear. All right, folks, wrapping it up, I just really want to talk about is, again, you know, options of ammunition that you can use. You know, start, maybe to start a discussion when I post this. What do you use in your shotgun? What do you recommend? Have you had any issues? Have you seen anything different come out? Uh, your results, you know, or ever ever had a scenario where you've actually had to go engage somebody with a shotgun in your house and um, uh, Home invasion or robbery or something. I'd be pretty cool to get some feedback on that You know, I'm always learning from people as much as Maybe some folks are learning from me. Yeah, you never know But uh, I love the input so I would definitely be uh, Happy if you guys would let me know what's going on with you guys. What do you guys use? so you know, man, get out there, um, you know, get your shoot on, shoot your shotguns, they're always fun, you know, when the shit hit the fan with uh, ammo, ammo uh, scarce, scarcity or whatever, um, the one thing I always did see was shotguns on the shelves, shotgun ammunition, the cheap stuff, and never went up in price, and you can have a lot of fun with shotguns, there's all kinds of neat things, you see what people doing, cut shells and all kinds of crazy stuff, and homemade ammunition, and uh, creative ammunition that they're making just to have fun with it. There's a lot of neat stuff out there All right, I'll wrap it up here Excellent, all right guys like I said um, leave me any uh, comments, please uh, on Google Plus or uh, On my video and uh, Let me know what you guys think man. I hope you guys have a good one I'm Having a good happy new year So fight the good fight man keep your groups tight brother